Hello everyone, Chocolate Birds here for another video review. This time we have the Spring Speciality, uh, Ritter Sport Honey and Crisp. Uh, it says it's new. I'm not sure how new this is. Um, <laughs> it could be new from a year ago. Um, yeah, probably is. <laughs> so hopefully it's still alright to eat. Um, yeah. <laughs> now I did order it relatively recently actually, um, so yeah, it's not too bad, but there we go. Um, yeah, so it's uh, basically, um, yeah. I guess, well, it must have come out in spring, wasn't it really, I guess. Um, you know, so, yeah, a bit late to the party of this one, but uh, got there in the end. What can I say? Um, yeah, so it actually says Honig. So you can see from it saying Honig, I think that's probably how you pronounce it. Um, it is actually German. Um, so essentially, yes, this is the German version. So I don't know if you can get it in the UK, but um, they're easily importable, whatever. But it's basically, uh, since I have sort of waffle pieces, um, honey, of course, and like a, I guess, a sort of cream, cream middle with milk chocolate on the outside, so... It's very nice, very tasty, yeah. Um, hmm. Very tempting. So on the back it says, uh, I did translate it in German, so I have uh, translated this <laughs> in advance. Um, it says, filled with alpine uh, uh, full milk chocolate um, with honey skimmed milk chocolate, milk yogurt cream. So yeah, uh, honey milk skimmed milk chocolate cream, um, honey crisp, and um, sort of waffle pieces. Yeah, so there you go. A waffle scrap, I think, is it translated as, but uh, yeah. So there we are. So it's a typical uh, Ritter Sport. Um, yeah, so I've, I've saved you from doing my German there, but I mean, you know, I think in the past I tried to pronounce it in German and translate it later on, but I've realised in advance now it's, uh, it's best to do it in advance um, <laughs> rather than make you all suffer through that. Um, but yes, uh, yes, it's got the typical square practical good there. Uh, I think in the uh, well, in the UK it's square practical good actually, in German it's. Uh, in fact, no, no, sorry, I tell you, yeah, square practical good. In the UK, it's something like, uh, yeah, I forgot what it is now. Hmm. I can't remember. Anyway, never mind. <laughs> yes, um, yeah, I can't remember what it is, yeah. So don't that now, but never mind, anyway. Something something very similar. Um, I think it's, yeah. Hmm, getting so used to the German ones now, I just uh, completely forgot. Anyway, never mind. Yes, um, yeah, so it's uh, quite nice. comes in, like, obviously... A square block usually I think it's four by four I think or I don't know sometimes they change depending on the type of have a four by four or whatever um, chunks of chocolate in a square shape so it does have a bit of flourishes on the side but um, you can clearly you know clearly see how big the bar is and it's kind of just to let you open it really I think so I can't pull it too much against it. it's 100 grams I think it does handily give us uh, everything in, uh, per 100 grams on the back so that's good so it's 574 calories 37 grams of fat uh, 21 of which are saturates. So if you have half this, which is 50 grams, which is a bit more than an average chocolate bar, but it's roughly comparable, I guess, roughly. Uh, so what's that? So it's 287 calories. 287 calories for half of this. Um, 18.5 grams of fat. And 10.5 of which are saturates. So there we go. Right, perfect. Yeah, so I'm very looking forward to this. So Ritter, I mean, I don't know how Ritter's what do, really. They just have so many different varieties. I mean, literally just hundreds of flavours. They must have about 100 flavours. It's uh, And they're all just so, like, nuanced, you know, so, um, it's, uh, yeah, it's crazy, really. But, um, you know, I'm really glad they do it. There's only chocolate bar company I know that have so many, such a variety of flavours. It's uh, absolutely crazy. But, yeah, well, it looks very nice. Anyway, so you can see um, normally the Ritter Sport bars have a sort of, this sort of uh, colour variety it says in the top. Um, and generally they all have a different colour top, so you could arrange them all in a, like on a bookshelf um, and they'd all look beautiful. And uh, yeah, I'd look, I, I wish I could do that really. I think you can buy like a sort of bookshelf ones, mini ones. You could buy like about 20 of them or something, a little box of mini, uh, you know, smaller size ones. Um, it still costs about probably twenty pounds or something, but but you do get you do get the library effect then. So I'm tempted to do that really, but <laughs> but I'll probably eat them in a day, so you know, it's probably not worth it. Right, so it comes in like this nick pack as well, which is like a sort of the equivalent to the cabbage flare wrapper. So it just opens you down the middle, but it's uh, it's quite difficult really because of um because it's quite tight against the you know, chocolates. It's you know hard to get your fingers in, but you can do it. So there we go. Oop, it's broken a bit, unfortunately. Probably, yeah, I did import it, so yeah, that's how it's happened. Which is a shame. I'll try and hold it together for you if I can to show you it, but I don't think I can. <laughs> uh, okay, I don't think I can. So, I'll make sure it's on the ground before I, uh, while it's still here. 
Um, but they're all using the same size anyway. I think it's like 8.1 or 9.1 centimeters across, I think, in diameter. Yeah, 9.1 by 9.1, really. So, yeah, not too bad. It's about, about 1.2 centimeters high as well. Well, I've got a good cross section here. I think you can clearly see what it is now, so that's not too bad. So, <laughs> so you can see you get the Ritter Sports cubes. So it is um, it's a 4x4 four four, you know, bar, and so you can see you've got the sort of Ritter Sport cubes with the Ritter Sport logo on there. Uh, you can see the lovely centre there as well. So it's like the honey, you can see there's bits of honey crisp there, I think, specifically there. Not too prominent elsewhere, really. It's quite bubbly, though. Um, yeah. I give one a bit of a. I was gonna say give it a chop, but already it's already chopped, isn't it? <laughs> so yes, uh, so yeah, perfect. Really, it's worked out really well. There you go. So you can see the chocolate does go. The, the inside does go quite high. Inside uh, a bit more. You know, it's a perfect example there where it's gone a bit higher up. Um, so it does fill right pretty much to the top almost. So it's not too bad. So you can see there, there it's quite. There's not done a lot as much filling, but when you look at it like that, there's a lot more. So it does go up inside the sort of dome of the chocolate. Some of them don't do that. Um, most most of the sports do. I, did, I think I reviewed a biscuit one over Christmas. I can't remember how you spell speculous or something. <laughs> Speculatious, I'm not sure. <laughs> um, it's a special type of uh, Christmas biscuit that you have in Belgium and uh, perhaps Germany and maybe Holland. Um, yeah, and anyway, but he did just have a slab of biscuit along there. They didn't, they, you know, they literally just baked a biscuit and put it in like that. So there was nothing in, in the domes. It's the only one, that's, and that's the only type of chocolate one I've seen of uh, wrist spots where they don't go inside the domes like that so right okay well it's a spring uh, or honey spring yep yeah, so it's a spring special spring speciality so it's, it doesn't really strike me as smelling too much of honey but it does have a sort of the cream yogurt cream does have a sort of tint of honey to it I guess I don't know if you can see that on the camera but it does it does look a bit Honey like honeyish colour and it's got yeah, lots of bubbles in. I'm not a big fan of these um lots of these, you know, lots of bars like Milker and uh, um, even Cadby now, you know, with these Oreo Oreo flavours. They have they have this sort of middle that's a bit creamy, yogurty like that. And it's not it's too sickly for me sometimes, it's just a bit too much. Um so we'll see how this is with the added taste of honey, maybe that just gives it something else, but I don't know, maybe make it a bit too sweet again, who knows? Um it's quite a nice little intersection there, isn't it? <laughs> Let's see a good example of how the chocolate is. Okay, let's uh, give it a taste. Hmm. Hmm. Well, very um, the crispy bits are very, very minor crispy bits actually. They're very um. It's almost like you got. I mean, it doesn't pop. It's not like popping candy, but it's almost like the size of popping candy. You know, when you have them in chocolate bars and things. It's got little crispy bits, a bit like that, and they have the same sort of consistency and uh, longevity. Hmm. The yogurt's not too bad. It's not too um, sickly or imposing in this one. As opposed to pretty much all the other yogurt type centers, at least so far. Um, hmm. I don't know, it's very subtle. It's very subtle. The honey's not a strong flavour. I mean, it's there, but it's not strong at all. It's um, hmm. I like it, but it's um, It's just very sort of plain. I don't know, it's very weird. It's a very strange one, this one. It's kind of like eating something sort of very vanilla -y, but um, at the same time, just have something nice about it. <laughs> very odd. I've never... Uh, hmm. um, just if it is, the yogurt centre, it's kind of quite nice, actually. It's, um, it's not sickly at all. I think I've had about three cubes now, and it's starting to get a bit slightly sicklyish, but not nothing compared to how, norm how normally is. Um, you know, that. You know, the bars have had like the Oreo dairy milk or the Oreo milk or whatever. Um, and there's little crispy bits of um, honey in there. Honey honeycomb, I guess. <clears throat> I'm not sure. Um, what about waffle, actually. It's waffle, isn't it? It has a picture of some waffle on the front. It does say waffle pieces. There you go, if you can see that there. Yeah. 
So, um, yeah, so it is basically uh, ruffly pieces. So they're, they're quite nice, actually, but they're very subtle. Again, they're not very... There are not loads of them in there, and they're quite small, very small pieces. I'd say they're a bit more like the popping candy consistency you get. That kind of size. I mean, you have chocolate and things. Um, and have that in chocolate. Um, hmm. And chocolate's very nice, and it's... um. It works really well. It's just very... um. It's just very subtle. It's just really subtle in, in every way, shape, or form, really. It's a bit like having... Mm, something quite plain, like a you know regular, you know like a cornflakes without anything on it or anything. You know, it's, there's not masses of flavour there, but it's you know, but it's enough. Um, it's a bit like that with this, really. It's just kind of, it's just it's just really subtle. It's just the, the crunch is very subtle. There's hardly anything there. The taste of honey is very subtle. The yogurt's filling is quite subtle as well. It's just um, it's not overly powerful at all. It's just a consistency, really. It's got a slight flavour of honey in there. Um, I do. It's, it's, it is really nice. It is nice. It's just a. Uh, hmm. So we set up honey pieces. There's only you know that's not. There's not many of them in each square. I don't think you know. Um, yeah, it's just a really subtle bar, a subtle flavour. I quite like that actually. It's not a. Uh, you know, it's not like a. It just throws it all at you. It doesn't. Um, you know, it's as if they've sort of said, right, we're not going to, you know, this is some honey waffle, we're not going to stuff it full of waffle, we're not going to stuff it full of honey, we're just going to make it sort of a subtle flavour that you might have with, say, I don't know, some kind of, um, I guess like a yoghurt really, you know, when you've got, when you have a yoghurt and it's got like a bit of flavour in there, it's not a massively strong flavour, it's just sort of, you know, it's a bit more of a plain yoghurt with an accompanying flavour. I don't know really, it's perhaps the closest an idea I can think of, but it's just, um, more comparison I can think of. It's just really, um, yeah, I don't know. I think they've just done a, it's just done a good job. It's just there. Uh, hmm. It just seems to work. I mean, uh, I think there's other things I'd rather have above this because they just have more of a strong flavour and you're sort of after something you think, right, well, I want to taste this today. I want to taste that. And even honey-wise, I think the Ritter Sport um, honey roasted almond one, I think that has a more of a strong honey taste you know, um, from the almonds and things, you know, so, um, it's just got a, it's just a, I don't know, it's just a very strange, subtle bar that's, um, very niche, I think, really, so it's very, uh, again, very, very strange, you know, uh, a strange bar, and again, it's just typical Ritter Sport, really, just having these random, random flavours, random bars, you know, and it's just one of those, again, really, where it just fills a, a very small hole in the market, you know, <laughs> um, but I do like it, it does work. And it's catching on my throat a bit now, you know, the yogurts and the... You know, it is a bit like that, and it just happened with me, I don't know, so it starts to get a bit sickly. Um, but, yeah, it's... I wouldn't say it's an average bar, but it's um, it's just really good at what it does. It's very subtle, very uh, unassuming, and um, but does carry across the flavours and carry across the the textures. Um, I think a three and a half out of five, I think. I mean, bordering on four. A high three and a half, I think, though, because it is really nice. I do like it, and I could quite happily finish it off. And it's not unpleasant in any way. It's just not really one thing or another, really. It's very subtle, and perhaps I think I'd rather have something a bit more um, imposing. I think, <laughs> um, you know, I'd rather I'd rather be able to taste a bit more honey, honey uh, crunch. I'd rather be able to taste a bit more. Um, or honey, you know, the crunchy bits, the, the waffle bits, or the honey bits. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I think that sums it up. I just, I just want a bit more, but um, but you know, maybe sometimes you don't want to, have, you know, have um, have too much filling or too much flavour. You just want that subtle taste, and this definitely delivers it. But um, hmm. I don't know. I can't think of a time when I when I would ever really think that. <laughs> but there you go. So yeah, a nice bar, but um, three and a half out of five, uh, low four, um, <clears throat> just a bit too subtle, but um, hmm, not unpleasant by any means. <laughs> right, well there you go, spring special, there we are. I guess I'll uh, have a reissue in these, or um, well, not. I should have said uh, I got it for this spring, shouldn't I really? Maybe I have, who knows, maybe I have, I just thought, I didn't get them too long ago, so maybe, I don't know, it just seems a bit odd that they'd be selling them in autumn for spring, so that's all. <laughs>
All right, then, guys, so if you enjoyed that review, uh, follow me on Twitter, subscribe, uh, please like my videos, leave a comment or two as well. Um, I'll see you next time. Let's get watching, guys. Take care. Bye. See you later.